How's it going guys? Peshcats here, and we are back with game two. We are looking at Victor on the left playing an index deck, and Pete's lesby friend's girlfriend beta deck on the right. So, Victor's gonna start out early. Two climaxes out of his deck. You already see one in his waiting room and one in his clock. I'm gonna start with the level zero searcher. Uh, on reverse, you can pay one, discard one, send the searcher to memory and search your deck for a magic character, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not totally familiar with index cards, so bear with me. I'm trying my best. Peace can open with a level 0 Chloe Brainstormer, as well as the Haruko Suicider. And I'm gonna trade the Brainstormer here. And Victor's gonna get to use his Searches ability, discards another Climax, so he's out three Climaxes already. And searches his deck for the new Index Brainstormer. So that's one of the new Comeback Campaign cards. It's, uh, if I remember correctly, it's pay one, rest two characters. Mill four for each Climax, you get to search your deck for a Magic character. And she also gives plus 1,000 power to your front row center slot character. And Pete's going to direct for two and end his turn. Victor draws, clocks to level three. And that's another new comeback campaign card, the Toma and Index. It has two come into play abilities. Uh, the first one is uh, when it comes into play, you have to mill two cards. And if either of those is a climax, then it rests. And the other one is a top check ability as well. You can, when it comes into play, you can look at the top card of your deck and either leave it on the top or send it to the bottom of your deck. Now he did mill two climax, or he did mill a climax, so that card did rest. And so he's going to play that level zero swimsuit. I don't know her name, uh, and just ram into the suicider with that. So now Pete's going to use his Clock Bond, allowing him to grab the 1-1 one, one from his waiting room after it gets sent from Clock to Waiting Room. Now that's the 1-1 one, one oversize, it's 8k power, 1-1 one, one, 8k, uh, but if it comes into play and you don't have the Bonder in play, then it rests automatically. Now obviously Pete just played the Bonder, so he's got it. Does he have another one? Oh my god, that's just... Okay, see, this deck is disgusting. So, uh, the Bonder, apart from being a Clock Bond to that 1-1, one, one, it also gives Global 500 and Hand Encore to the 1-1. One, one. So he's got two 9Ks on his board right now. That's enormous. And then to finish off his, his uh, field, 1-0-6K uh, at the start of his Climax phase, he has to rest a character. Going to swing for 4 cancels, swings for two, and he's going to take it, level up to level one, and two more, I'm going to put Victor at one three, so now let's see how Victor is able to respond to those super big one ones, uh, going to start with a brainstorm, it's one climax, so gonna let him search for one magic character. And what will it be? Okay, I don't remember which one that is. I remember a lot of the cards that were in Victor's deck when he showed me before the tournament, but not that one. Not off the top of my head, anyway. Uh, I do know what that level 1 does, though. Uh, he can rest a character to give it 1k, and then if it reverses the battle opponent, he can send it to memory, and then at the start of the next draw phase, he can bring it back on the stage. And the index he just played is a 1-0, I believe. And looks like he is... what is he doing? 
Oh, was he able to kill the Kanata? Crazy. Looked like he side attacked a couple of times, though. And back to Pete. He's got a full board. And quite a full hand as well. And he's ahead in damage. So Pete's Pete's in a good spot right now. He's got those really fat 1-1s one that he can just sit on for a while. And just hit Victor. Plays a 2k1. Gonna hit for 2. Yeah, Victor takes it. Hit for 3 now. Cancels. And hit for 2. Cancels again. Alright. Now, Pete's got a couple climaxes in his uh, stock right now. He's going to want to pay those out at some point. Going back to Victor. I think he's got six climaxes in, in his waiting room. Oh, my God. He's got exactly two cards in his deck. That's lame. I was going to say he could clock draw two and then play the new level three healer but he can't even do that because he's gonna run out of deck so wait he needs to level up first right yeah 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 okay okay cool so um i think victor's deck only runs just blue stuff so he doesn't have to worry about color he can just level the least useful card and just go straight into refresh it's kind of a shame too because I know his deck runs free refresh and he didn't get to to use it I'm gonna play another copy of the oversize successfully milling two and now he's gonna brainstorm Hey, look, there's the climaxes. Hits two climax. Gonna get to search his deck for two characters. Search that one zero index. Okay, so uh, that's the one he played earlier. Um, if I remember correctly, the effect is when it comes into play, you reveal the top card of your deck, and if it's a magic book, if it's a something trait character, then you uh, add it to your hand and discard a card. And when it comes into play, it gets plus a thousand for every magic. Again, I don't, I'm not 100% sure on the traits of these cards, but I know it gets it gets a 1k buff for like every character of whatever trait that is that he has on the stage, and then it, it counts itself. So uh, the index on the top is going to be getting plus 4k, and the one on the bottom is going to be getting plus 5k. If I could just find the card, or not. And Pete with the good cancel, <laughs> staying at 1-4. Meanwhile, Victor at 2-1, going into Pete's turn. And he can hand encore that massive 1-1. One, one. Doesn't make it any better that Victor is trading with the 1-1, one, one, but then Pete can just hand encore it after. I don't even think Pete has to really clock, but he's going to clock anyway just grab some more cards plays a searcher on play pay one drop one searches deck for a girl trait character gonna grab the 2-1 counter which climax combo changes into a 3-2 Akari healer and then probably just rearranges field and swing yeah Gonna gonna pick up that counter after all. Apart from having climax combo change, also it is a 3k counter. So versatile card. Not only that, but the climax combo change puts the counter back into your hand, which is uh, why I think it's a really, really cool combo. But uh, we're not there yet. Pete's still just sitting on massive one ones. Cool story. And I think he still has two climaxes still in his stock. Three climaxes in his stock. Uh, 
And Victor's just gonna eat some damage. Yep, eats six damage in a row. And levels up to level three. So what I know Victor's deck is, like, I guess, known for, once he hits level 3, is it has, like, a level 3 event that allows him to heal 2. I think it's a 3-2 counter event. So probably just going to want to build some stock so that he can spam that on Pete's turn and stay alive. But Pete is massively ahead in clock right now. He's at 1-5. While Victor's at 3-1. And Victor's low on deck, so he's going to be going into refresh soon as well. Going to search for another copy of the Oversize Toman Index. Oh, Mills a Climax. Uh, rip. So that's going to be coming in rested. Can't attack with it. Unfortunate. Oh, and he also uses the Scry ability. And now the 1-0 index going to come in, reveals the top card as uh, whatever trait that's supposed to be, adds it to his hand, discards a climax, going to play a 3-2 healer. And finishes it off with a free refresh. So that's another new card from the uh, comeback campaign. And it has... A similar ability to the Kosaki Free Fresh from uh, from Nisekoi. When it comes into play, if you have five or less cards in your deck, you get a free refresh and then you draw a card. And I think the other effect is it gets 500 power for every other magic character on your stage. So um, from being a 217k, it can go up to being a 219k. Yeah. So, with the Brainstorm boost, it'll go up to 10k, and he can finally kill Akanata without having to trade. Hits with the level 3 for 3 damage. Pete eats it. Triggers a book. Hits for 1. Goes through. Hits for 2. Two more. I think Pete's refreshing with four climaxes in his waiting room because he's got like three in stock and he's got a wind in his hand. Unless uh, I saw that wrong. So at most, he's got four climaxes going into this refresh, but he's got like a billion stock. He's got a full board. He's got like five cards in his hand. So what? He's probably going back with like a 25 card deck with four climaxes, something like that. Not the best situation. This is going to let Victor catch up and damage a bit. And now Pete can just hand encore those 1-1s one again. Decides to hand encore one of them. Probably just going to go into the 2-1 uh, climax combo change now. Clocks. Draws another wind. Gonna use the Chloe Brainstorm's ability. Pay one, mill four. For each climax, you get to salvage a character and discard a card. <laughs> if he doesn't have one already, he's gonna want to pick up that 3 2 uh, Akari, which he does. Pitches a climax. Brainstorm again. Hits one. Grabs another copy of the 2 1 counter. And. Just going to play it. So, moves over the 1-1, one, one, plays the counter. Wait, did he have another one? Oh my god, he has... Okay, so now he's going to play the Climax Combo with the Wind. So, the Climax Combo is pay one, bounce back the counter to your hand, and play the 3-2 Akari, which, when it comes into play, it heals. 
going to be able to heal back down to 2-4. And the Akari has a Climax combo with the same wind Climax combo that he just, uh, the same wind Climax that he just used to bring it out at level 2. Uh, when it attacks, he gets plus 1500 power until the end of the opponent's turn, and he gets to search his deck for a girl trait character. Very, very strong Climax combo. Pete's going to get to search, grabs a 3-2 Koruri, that's the level 3 with the Musashi ability. And we're looking at 3 damage here, at least. 3 damage, takes it. 3 more damage, going to get to search his deck for yet another card. Looks like he's got only one Climax left in his deck. Should be just one left, because he drew one off of his refresh. He brainstormed twice, and uh, both of those were successful, so there should only be that one Climax remaining in his deck. And using his Ocarie's ability, searches for yet another copy of the Ocarie so that it can heal. Later, when he hits level 3, hits for 3, cancels. Kantao's going to hit for 2. You could actually kill him right here if he triggers the, the 2k one. But no. So that's just going to hit for 2. And Victor takes it. Going to 3-5. Now Pete's ahead. An entire level of clock. And Victor's deck does not have any sort of finisher ability. He just relies on survival through repeatedly healing. He has the level 3 healer from the comeback campaign, which he just played. He has another level 3 index, which has a climax combo, which also heals. And he has the, the level 3 event, which also heals. So obviously this deck like insta-loses to anti-heal, but um, it's a good thing Pete's not playing a deck with anti-heal. Plays 2k1, and I think that's the one that heals. Yep, climax combo heal with the 2k1. And this is going to hit Pete for three. I think Pete has like a pretty decent number of cards still left in his deck, like like eight cards. And he's just going to play one of those 3k counters that he bounced back to in his hand. Perfect last card cancel right there with the last climax of his deck. That's exactly what he wanted. The thing that makes that Ocari combo so dumb is that you get to bounce the counter. You get to bounce the counters back to your hand. He just saves both of the Ocaries with two counters. And they can just stay there for another turn. If he draws another wind, he can search his deck for two more cards and get more power buffs. It's great. Alright, so anyways, Pete's going to be pushed up to 3-1. I'm not sure if he has enough stock to play both the healer and the Koruri. But, uh, yeah. Now, all we can really do is, uh, watch Pete deal damage. Wait, he's got three of the heal events in his hand, and and he has no characters on the stage to, to counter rip. Alright, so he's going to go ahead and play the Karuri. So she has that Musashi effect. If her damage is cancelled, you mill one. And burn for that much, plus one. So right now, Pete's ideal play is uh, he attacks with the Karuri. Her attack cancels. He mills a level zero, burns for one, ends the game. That's the ideal play. It's going to be the, the the way to deal that precise one damage to finish off Victor right here. If he doesn't kill Victor right here, I'm going to be pretty surprised. But first, uh, Pete's trademark shuffle. His uh, long, long ass, like 30 second shuffle. Refresh damages into the wind. He's going to attack with the Kuri for three. And that's going to be it. And Pete's going to take the game with his girlfriend's deck.